Hey everyone, it's Friday. You know what that means? Yeah, it's Zer. Week number 133 is by the big brown doors, by the speaker. Let's see what he's got. Starting from the bottom, we have Plasma Drive and Stealth Drive for those rare blue quality sparrows. Three heavy ammo packs for one strange coin. 10 heavy ammo packs for 3 strange coins, 5 3 of coins for 7 strange coins, 3 glass needles for a whole bunch of stuff, 1 mode of light for 2 strange coins, and 1 exotic shard for 7 strange coins. Titans, you are getting the ACD0 feedback fence. We have side bonuses of increased melee attack speed or bonus melee energy on grenade hits. This one's pretty good. And we have increased hand cannon or rocket launcher reload speed that one's pretty good the main bonus makes it so taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in an area around you so you basically deal an aoe whenever you're hit by a melee well these can certainly help you win some of those 1v1 melee fights but in general these gloves aren't too popular in pve i think they're basically a non-factor but in pvp have some moments are they a must buy not necessarily but if you're an aggressive player you might find a use for these somewhere not an urgent buy though hunters you're getting the graviton forfeit we have side bonuses of bonus super energy on grenade kills or heavy weapon kills in PvE, and we have better already. The main bonus gives you Shade Step for free, provided that you are using Night Stalker. If you're good with Shade Step, you're probably going to want this helm. If you don't use Shade Step or you're bad with it, then you probably don't want this helm. Shade Step is an ability... It is not a strict power gain. I cannot put a value on it. So your skill with Shade Step will be the determining factor on whether or not this exotic is good for you or not. I personally don't think it's really needed in PvE. Would much rather go for a power gain in PvE. But for PvP, good use of Shade Step will, you, will make you a much more formidable opponent. It's going to make you very hard to hit. You're going to bamboozle people all over the place. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty obnoxious to fight against. Warlocks. You're getting Heart of the Praxic Fire. We have side bonuses of bonus auto or sniper ammo. And we have solar burn defense and solar armor. Solar armor is pretty good because the main bonus gives you increased agility and further decreased ability cooldowns when Radiance is active. How decreased, you might ask? Well, a little bit. You'll get an extra grenade or two if you're spamming them nonstop, especially with Tier 5 Discipline. Same with melee-ish. You know, maybe an extra melee or two, but it's not that much of a boost. The reason I'd say it's good for PvP is because that extra melee could come in handy to one-shot somebody, but I don't think it does enough all the time to warrant use over something like Claws of Ahamkara, for example, in PvP. In PvE, Sunsingers don't have the best options, so you could use it there, but I don't think it's really a massive difference maker. I'd probably just use Voidwalker. The weapon of the week is Thunderlord. This weapon has always been on the brink of being a top-tier pick. Always on the brink, but it never quite makes it. Its damage is good, but the main perk requires fully continuous fire of the weapon to reach the higher speeds, and it's not terribly often that you're completely unloading all of your ammo into a target, at least a full magazine's worth, all 49 shots. It can be a little unruly with its stability as well, but it's not too rough to control. Typically speaking, there just ends up being too many other good heavies and too many other good exotics that Thunderlord doesn't end up making the cut for a fully optimized loadout. That's not to say it's a bad gun, because it's definitely not. It's pretty good. It's just not quite on the top shelf if you're looking for that super, super optimized loadout for whatever you're doing. 
Legacy Engram is Heavy Weapon Engram. If you don't know what this is, don't bother buying it. It is a waste of strange coins. If you do know what it is, then I do not need to explain it. That's going to do it for Zer week number 133. I am headed to bed because now Zer shows up at 2 a.m. instead of 1 a.m. That's fun. I think I probably complained about that last week. But I'm going to bed. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all next time.